Well, um, my big question is, um, I kind of gave a little background. I actually um, did a lot of training in the late 90s and early 2000s, and that's when I first got into your um, subject to and trust work. Awesome. Um, yeah. So I was in Southeast Michigan in the thumb. And as things got dicey, um, I was doing a lot of what you were just talking about because we're going into this, you know, foreclosure, you know, mess. Anyway, so subject two became one of my very favorite uh, strategies. So um, <clears throat> ended up losing everything because Ooh. of the way it worked out, like a lot of investors did. But anyway, and then yeah. got out of investing for a while and um, some family stuff. And uh, anyway, so I got out of investing and then I got back in a couple years ago. We moved to Minnesota from the thumb of Michigan this summer because I have a son here with our little granddaughter. And I bought, we bought this house that we're living in subject to. So I was able to use my skills and my search, you know, um, software to find this house and get it uh it was a you know classic subject to and my son here who lives here signed all the paperwork for us in february what 16 months ago so uh he's our trustee and um i followed the paperwork we did go through a title company because it was listed with a realtor and they wanted we went through everything was all done okay so my question is yesterday you were talking about um, so my son's the trustee and then my current husband and I are the beneficiaries, the beneficial interest. But you said that we should really be putting that into a personal property trust. So, so I'm wondering about that, how that works. Do we just, um, do an assignment of beneficial interest into that personal well, let property me ask trust? Let a couple of questions before we go any farther. Okay. So that particular deal did you have the seller place the property in their trust and yes. they actually were named on that trust as the yes. beneficiary? Okay. They, uh, yeah. And, what and happened was it was them a assign and quit claim their beneficial interest of that land trust to you and your husband. Right. We didn't actually do a quit claim. It was just closed through the title company and it was the warranty deed to trustee. So they were divorcing. This was the issue. And they both moved out of here already and it wasn't selling because it does need some work, but we didn't really care. Um, so it was warranty deed to trustee for the two of them. And then he quit claimed his interest to her. So she was the hundred percent beneficiary. And then she assigned my um, son to be the trustee. And then she did um, a notarized assignment of beneficial interest, her 100% interest over to my husband and to me. Yep. So that's what we have. And of course, the body of the trust, but we didn't actually do a quick claim deed from her. Well, I thought, essentially you did though, that assignment, it, it says right on the document, it says assignment and quit claim of beneficial right. interest of trust. So right. yes, yes she did. And that's good news. <laughs> I thought you were yeah. going to tell me something different than that. Lou, no. Hannah is an older uh, uh, trust system owner. Mm -hmm. So uh, she may have the paperwork from way back. Right. That is just the assignment, not the assignment. Okay, good. Because I thought... Did I miss something? <laughs> so when you were when you were talking about it yesterday, I thought, uh oh. I mean, it's been a while since I got in there, but okay. So that's more modern than well, with you, using. You did awesome, and okay. one more way that you can protect yourself mm -hmm. and create privacy for yourself is if she had, meaning the seller, had sold that beneficial interest to your personal property trust rather than to you. And okay. then inside that personal property trust, you and your husband would be beneficiaries of okay. that personal property trust. So it's really just to create that additional anonymity and privacy of who actually got the beneficial interest. Okay, so at this point, because we've done it the older way <clears throat> and we are the beneficial interests here, is there any reason to go ahead and put it into a personal property trust at this point or what would we do 
So Hannah, you probably remember the old days when uh, I did the paranoia scale. (laughs) I still do that at the trust (laughs) training, right? The the paranoia scale. So the answer is, it depends. It depends how paranoid you are. But if you want to obtain, you know, one more level of protection, then you would simply uh, quit claim your beneficial interest to the personal property trust and then have that second layer of protection. But it's it's not a big deal, but it's yet another one more. layer of protection. If anybody right. got through or attempted mm-hmm. to get through the land trust, what would they find? They'd find another trust. Okay, 